All right, so we went over this vacuum bag, this PM pack out. Now we're moving on to this one. So this is the Milwaukee M18 vacuum, shop vac, wet vac, and it does not have feet, but we got it on there. So when I did this, I got these, uh, they're basically 3D print, uh, printed feet that you can buy and it's a set specifically for the shop vac. I will link it uh, if I can. I think this was off eBay. I don't know if I found one on Amazon, but check the tool link. So basically I put them on and then I set this on top of it where I wanted it. I wanted it flush in the back because it was on that wall over there and any further it would have hit. So basically, after I had everything on, I just kind of marked where they were and then drilled because they're basically going to go. You only need to, and I marked it over here too, but I, that was the first attempt. The groove goes into this notch. So no matter what, they're not going to, you don't have to worry about going left to right here from the front. It's just like how far back do you want the feet? So that's why I said you can mark them on the side and then drill them in, set them in and drill them in. I use just nuts and bolts. This is the lock. So that one you do have to figure out uh, where you want that to lock. That one was a little difficult, but I'm not a builder. So maybe you guys are better at this than I am. And yes, I can still use it as a shop vac. The bolts, I just cut them off so that they are kind of flush there. And then I used uh, water silicone sealant to put in between. And then when you screw it in, it pushes it out, then kind of dab a little bit more and it's it can hold water. All right, so water test. Dry, so it does hold fine with that silicone sealant that I had. I'm not good at building guys, it's not pretty, but it works. And that's basically it. Now, that's how I got a shop vac on my pack out system. Instead of having it to store you know, somewhere and strap it down. We just clip it on. And now this is complete.